get set to watch an icy visitor put on a sky show through the end of June. A new comet is swinging through the inner solar system and has been slowly brightening in the early morning skies. Named after the Australian astronomer first spotted it in September 2009, Comet McNaught is becoming brighter than predicted. This weekend, its brightness should peak above naked eye visibility from a dark site and may become as bright as the stars in the Big Dipper. Now, as the comet nears the sun, solar heat is boiling away the ices on its surface, which has begun to release gas and dust streaming away into space. Photos from sky watchers around the world are showing that the comet has begun to form a short tail that's pointing north. Now through binoculars, it looks like a fuzzy ball with a tail appearing about a half a degree long. That's the same size as the disk of the full moon in the sky. The distinctive blue tail stretches millions of miles long. And this weekend through June 24th will be the best time to look for the comet before it swings behind the sun and disappears. Look for the new comet very low in the northeastern sky in the wee hours of the morning, say around 4 a.m., moving through the constellations Perseus and then Auriga. Now on Sunday morning and Monday morning, the comet will be positioned just in the upper right of a bright star called Capella, making it even easier to track down. Lots of mystery surrounds this comet. No one knows how bright it will be, but the only way to know for sure is go out and see for yourself. For more stargazing news, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.